Hello everyone! In this week's video, I'm going to be showing how to draw a male face in three different views. Front view, side view, and three quarter view. So let's get started. First we have front view. I start with drawing a circle. You can trace a cup if you want. Next, I draw a line down the middle of the circle. This will help me when I'm trying to make things symmetrical. Then I draw a line across the bottom of the circle. This helps me when drawing his jaw. Next, I draw a slanting line on each side of the circle. Then I draw the jawline. When I draw male characters, I tend to give them a longer jaw than female characters. Next, I draw a line across the center of the head. This helps me place the eyes. I draw a curvy line for the top of the eye. Then I draw a slanting line on the side. I move back and forth between each eye. I try my best to make them look the same. Next I draw a slightly curving line for the bottom of the eye. I draw a line for the bridge of the nose, and then two dots for his nose. I decided to erase some of the guidelines. They were getting in the way. <laughs> I draw circles for the irises. I draw some lines for the eyelids. I draw two curvy lines for the mouth. I draw a circle in each eye for the pupils. I draw an oval shape in each eye for the highlight. This makes them look shiny. I add a bit of shading in the iris. It's dark on the top and gets lighter towards the bottom. I draw curving shapes for the eyebrows. The top of the ears line up with the eyebrows, and the bottom of the ears line up with the nose. I draw two lines for the neck. I draw a curvy line around the head for the hair. I have a few hair tutorials if you want a more in-depth explanation on hair. Now I darken my lines.
Now for side view, I start by drawing a circle. Next, I draw a line on the side of the circle and another line across the bottom. In side view, the head is kind of an oval shape. So I'm going to change my circle into an oval. Next I draw the jawline. I draw a line across the middle of the head to help place the eyes. In side view, the eyes become kind of triangle shaped. I draw a line that goes in towards the eye and then out for the nose. Then another line for the bottom of the nose. The lip area is kind of tricky. I often have to try a few times until I get it right. I draw two lines for the mouth. Next I draw the eye. The iris is a thin oval. I draw some lines for the eyelid. I draw a curving shape for the eyebrow. Like the front view, the top of the ear lines up with the eyebrow and the bottom of the ear lines up with the nose. I draw an oval for the pupil and then outline the highlight. Next I draw the neck. I tend to give male characters thicker necks than female characters. I draw a curvy line around the head for the hair. Next, I darken my lines. Now on to three-quarter view. I start with drawing a circle. Next I draw a line to represent the middle of the face and then a line under the circle. I draw a line coming off the side of the circle and then the chin. I draw a line across the middle of the head to help me place the eyes. I make it slant slightly. Now I draw the eyes. The eye that is away from us gets kind of squished due to perspective. I draw in not as long as the one that is close to us.
I draw a line for the bridge of his nose and then an L-like shape for his nose. And then a short line for the nostril. I draw two lines for the mouth. I draw circles for the irises. The circle in the eye that is away from us is more oval shaped. I draw curving shapes for the eyebrows. The eyebrow that is away from us is drawn shorter than the one that is close to us. I draw circles for the pupils and outline the highlights. I draw some lines for the eyelids. I try to follow the shape of the eye. Next I draw the ear. Top lines up of the brow, bottom lines up of the nose. Now I draw the neck. Now I draw the hair. I draw a bunch of triangle-like shapes. Next, I darken my lines. I also add shading to the eyes. I add shading to the irises and also the white parts. I don't know what the white part is called. <laughs> Before I end this video, I want to say thank you so much to my patrons, including Rachel, Vani, Julie, Pisatera, Eduardo, AJ, Stephanie, Narichan, and Daniel. Thank you so much for being a patron and for your support. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!